Ethel Merman, a name synonymous with powerhouse performances, first graced the stage in 1930. Born Ethel Agnes Zimmerman on January 16, 1908, in Asteria, Queens, she would eventually become one of the most renowned Broadway stars of her time. Merman's big break came when she was cast in the leading role of Girl Crazy, a George and Ira Gershwin musical. Her powerful voice and commanding stage presence left audiences in awe, and her rendition of I, I and heard them became an instant classic. From there, Merman's career took off, and she became known for her belting singing style and larger-than-life personality. Throughout her career, Merman starred in numerous hit shows, including Anything Goes, Annie Get Your Gun, and Gypsy. She earned rave reviews for her performances and became a beloved figure in the theater community. Merman's contributions to the world of musical theater cannot be overstated, and her legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. Merman's impact extended beyond the stage, and she became a cultural icon in her own right. She appeared in films, television shows, and even released several successful albums. Merman's unique style and undeniable talent made her a true original, and she remains a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Despite her many accomplishments, Merman remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She continued to perform well into her later years, and her passion for the stage never waned. Merman's legacy is a testament to her talent, hard work, and dedication to the world of musical theater. Her contributions to this classic art form will be cherished for generations to come. Ethel Merman was a legendary actress, known for her powerful voice and dynamic stage presence. She became famous for her roles in Broadway musicals, including Girl Crazy, Anything Goes, and Gypsy. Her performances were unforgettable, leaving audiences in awe. Do you have a favorite Ethel Merman moment? Perhaps you saw her perform live on stage, or maybe you grew up listening to her albums. We'd love to hear your stories and memories about this iconic star. Share them with us in the comments below. Maybe you were inspired by Ethel Merman's determination and resilience. Despite facing challenges throughout her career, she never gave up and always delivered exceptional performances. Or perhaps it's her music that resonates with you, bringing back fond memories or lifting your spirits during difficult times. Throughout this video, we'll explore some surprising and emotional moments from Ethel Merman's life and career. From hilarious behind-the-scenes tales to heartbreaking setbacks, there's plenty to discover about this larger-than-life personality. So stay tuned and learn more about this classic star who left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Born in Ethel Agnes Zimmerman on January 16, 1908, in Queens, New York, the actress had a humble upbringing. Her father, Edward Zimmerman, was a German immigrant who worked as a sheet metal worker, while her mother, Agnes Gardner, was of English descent and stayed home to raise their children. The future star grew up in an extended family with three siblings and several cousins living under one roof. From an early age, she showed a knack for singing, often performing impromptu concerts for her family members. At the age of 10, she took part in a school play, marking her first appearance on stage. This experience ignited a passion for performance that would shape her life. During her teenage years, the actress sang in local churches and amateur shows around Asteria, where she lived. She dropped out of high school to pursue a career in vaudeville, eventually joining forces with singer Jimmy Machu. Together they formed a successful act that toured the country. A significant influence in the actress's life was her collaboration with George Gershwin during the production of Girl Crazy. Working alongside the renowned composer and lyricist introduced her to a new style of music and elevated her status as a performer. Through him, she discovered her signature sound, a bold, powerful voice capable of belting out tunes with unmatched energy and enthusiasm. Another influential figure was theater producer Vinton Friedley, who cast her in various Broadway productions throughout the 1930s and 1940s. Under his guidance, the actress honed her acting skills and solidified her place as a leading lady of musical theater. Ethel Merman, a renowned actress, 
left an indelible mark on the film industry during her era and beyond. She is remembered for her powerful voice and dynamic stage presence. Merman's career spanned over four decades and she made significant contributions to Hollywood. In the 1930s, Merman made her Broadway debut in Girl Crazy, where she introduced the song I Got Rhythm. This classic became her signature tune and showcased her unique vocal style. Merman's success on Broadway led to her transition to Hollywood, where she starred in several films, including Alexander's Ragtime Band and Call Me Madam. Merman's film roles often showcased her comedic timing and larger-than-life personality. She brought a unique energy to each performance, captivating audiences and leaving a lasting impression. Merman's influence extended beyond her own performances as she paved the way for future actresses to showcase their talents on both stage and screen. Despite facing challenges in the industry, Merman remained a trailblazer throughout her career. She broke barriers and defied expectations, becoming a true icon of the film industry. Merman's legacy continues to resonate with audiences today, inspiring future generations of actresses to step into the spotlight and make their mark. In conclusion, Ethel Merman's impact on the film industry cannot be overstated. Her contributions to Hollywood and her influence on future actresses have left a lasting impact that continues to be felt today. From a young age, Ethel Merman already showed signs of her powerful voice. She was born in Asteria, Queens, New York, in 1908, and grew up singing in church choirs and local events. However, it wasn't until she saw the musical Good News on Broadway in 1927 that she realized her true calling. Enthralled by the energy and excitement of the performance, Ethel decided to audition for a role in the chorus line. Although she didn't get the part, she caught the attention of the show's producer, who offered her a small singing role. This opportunity marked the start of Ethel's illustrious career on stage. One night, while performing in Girl Crazy, another hit Broadway show, something magical happened. As she sang the song I Got Rhythm, the audience responded with thunderous applause. At that moment, Ethel knew she had found her passion, making people happy through music and entertainment. From then on, Ethel became known for her powerhouse vocals and energetic performances. Over the years, she starred in numerous successful shows like Annie Get Your Gun, Call Me Madam, and Gypsy. Her talent and charisma left a lasting impact on the theater world and continue to inspire aspiring performers today. After Ethel Merman's daughter, Ethel Livett, got married to William Geary in 1960, she gave birth to Merman's first grandchild, Barbara Jean, on February 20 the following year. A son, Michael Geary, would join the family later. Upon the actress's death, she left a substantial inheritance of 800000 to be divided between her son and her two grandchildren. In her later years, Merman showcased her comedic talent in the film Airplane, where she portrayed Lieutenant Hurwitz. Known for her assertiveness, she even insisted on bringing her own hairdresser to the set. This classic performance remains a favorite among her fans. Ethel Merman, a name synonymous with stage royalty, faced significant challenges early in her career. Born in 1908 in Nile Rose, were often limited. Financially, things were tough. Her family struggled, and she had to work to help make ends meet. Yet, these hardships didn't dampen her spirit or deter her from pursuing her dreams. Skepticism from the industry was another mountain to climb. Despite her undeniable talent, she was often overlooked due to her unconventional looks. But Ethel refused to let others define her worth. She honed her skills, perfecting her powerful voice and commanding stage presence. Her resilience was unyielding, and she found creative solutions to overcome each obstacle. One such solution was her unique approach to auditions. Instead of conforming to the industry's expectations, she embraced her individuality. This bold move set her apart from the crowd and eventually landed her the lead role in the hit Broadway showgirl Crazy. This breakthrough catapulted her career, leading to iconic roles in shows like Annie Get Your Gun and Gypsy. Ethel Merman's story is a testament to the power of perseverance 
and the importance of staying true to oneself. Despite the financial struggles and industry skepticism, she carved out a space for herself, becoming a beacon of inspiration for aspiring performers. In the movie There's No Business Like Show Business, Ethel Merman brought the character of Molly Donahue to life. She had already worked alongside Donald O'Connor in Call Me Madam back in 1953 under the direction of Walter Lang and feature music by Irving Berlin. Moving forward to the production of There's No Business Like Show Business, Merman welcomed the addition of Marilyn Monroe to the cast, recognizing the value she brought to promote the picture. Nevertheless, the actress confronted challenges due to Monroe's unprofessional behavior, persistent tardiness and excessive reliance on her acting coach, Natasha Lydas, rather than following directions from Walter Lang. Fortunately, co-star Mitzi Gaynor discovered strategies to alleviate tensions during shooting breaks. Whenever Monroe failed to emerge from her dressing room, Gaynor would exchange knowing glances with Merman and make suggestive gestures, implying mischief might be happening inside. Although it wasn't actually occurring, these playful moments allowed Merman to maintain composure amidst trying circumstances. Ultimately, upon completion of this classic film, Ethel Merman left behind lasting memories both on set and within audiences' hearts, eventually earning herself a notable resting place at Shrine of Remembrance Mausoleum in Colorado Springs Company. Ethel Merman's career was filled with breakthrough moments that left a lasting impact on the world of theater. In 1930, she made her Broadway debut in Girl Crazy, where her powerful voice and energetic performance gained her widespread recognition. George Gershwin, the show's composer, was so impressed by her talent that he insisted she be given the leading role. A few years later, in 1933, Merman took on the role of Reno Sweeney in Anything Goes, a groundbreaking musical that earned her critical acclaim. Cole Porter, the show's composer, wrote the part specifically for Merman's unique voice and style. Her performance was a turning point in her career, cementing her status as a leading lady of the Broadway stage. In 1946, Merman starred in Annie Get Your Gun, a classic musical that became one of her most iconic roles. The show's composer, Irving Berlin, wrote the score with Merman in mind, and her performance was met with widespread acclaim. The actress's portrayal of Annie Oakley was a defining moment in her career, and the show's songs, such as There's No Business Like Show Business, remain some of her most enduring contributions to the world of theater. Throughout her career, Merman's talent and charisma left a lasting impact on the world of theater. Her performances were marked by her powerful voice, energetic stage presence, and unique style. Even today, her legacy continues to resonate with audiences and inspire new generations of performers. In 1957, Ethel Merman received a Tony Award nomination for her leading role in the musical Happy Hunting. Her talent wasn't confined to the stage alone. She brought her iconic performances to the screen, recreating her Broadway starring roles in the movie versions of Call Me Madam as Mistress Sally Adams and Anything Goes as Reno Sweeney. Interestingly, the role of Dolly Gallagher Levi in the Broadway musical Hello, Dolly, was initially penned with Merman in mind. However, she declined the offer at first. Later, in 1970, she took on the character and stayed committed to the show until its closure on December 27, 1970. Each production she graced with her presence. Ethel Merman was known for her powerful voice and dynamic stage presence. She approached her work with an unwavering dedication to delivering entertaining performances. Her unique style combined belting vocals with crisp diction, allowing every lyric to be heard clearly by her audience. Merman often chose roles that highlighted her comedic timing and ability to connect with audiences. In shows like Anything Goes, and Gypsy she brought humor and energy to complex characters. Off stage, Merman was soft-spoken but on stage, she transformed into a force of nature. Her personal experiences influenced her artistry deeply. Having grown up during the Great Depression, Merman understood hardship 
and resilience, qualities she embodied in many of her iconic roles. Despite facing numerous professional setbacks throughout her career, including being replaced in productions, Merman remained determined and focused on perfecting her craft. The actress's worldview was mirrored in her commitment to providing joy and laughter through her performances. Even when tackling serious subjects, Merman found ways to infuse lightness and hope. This optimism extended beyond the footlights too. Friends described her as warm, generous, and quick-witted. Throughout her illustrious career, Ethel Merman left an indelible mark on musical theater. To this day, her legacy continues to inspire generations of performers who strive to match her extraordinary talent and infectious spirit. Ethel Merman is often linked to the character of Helen Lawson in Jacqueline Susan's novel Valley of the Dolls. Initially, Judy Garland was set to portray Lawson in the film adaptation, but she was ultimately replaced by Susan Hayward, who required dubbing by Margaret Whiting for her musical scene. Moving forward, Merman tied the knot with Ernest Borgnine in 1964, marking her third marriage and his second. However, the union lasted merely 32 days, ending in divorce due to alleged extreme mental cruelty by Borgnine. Following their separation, both parties submitted divorce claims against each other, with Merman filing hers soon afterward. Her autobiography, published in 1978, includes a chapter dedicated to their brief marriage, a solitary blank page. While Borgnine remarried, Merman chose to remain single following their split. In the movie There's No Business Like Show Business, Merman played Molly Donahue alongside Dan Daly, Donald O'Connor, and Mitzi Gaynor. An original song called Anything You Can Do was initially planned for the Donahues during their performance at a Florida nightclub, featuring Marilyn Monroe's rendition of Heat Wave. Although this sequence didn't make the final cut, footage remains, capturing the Donahues wearing their designated attire while observating Monroe sing Heat Wave backstage. Ethel Merman, an actress who left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, is still celebrated for her powerful voice and dynamic stage presence. Debuting in the 1930s, she quickly became a prominent figure in musical theater, starring in classics such as Girl Crazy and Anything Goes. Her unique vocal prowess allowed her to deliver memorable performances that captivated audiences. Merman's ability to sing lengthy, powerful notes without losing intensity was unparalleled. This skill, combined with her charismatic stage presence, made her a force to be reckoned with in the world of musical theater. Industry experts and those inspired by Merman often highlight her influence on modern-day musicals and performers, for instance. Renowned actress Patti Lupone once commented, Ethel Merman was a game changer. Her power, range, and sheer charisma inspired generations of performers, including myself. Moreover, Merman's performances transcended the boundaries of traditional musical theater. Her work in films like Call Me Madam and There's No Business Like Show Business showcased her ability to adapt to different mediums while maintaining her distinctive style. The actress's impact on storytelling is also noteworthy. Merman had a knack for delivering dialogue with such conviction that it became an essential aspect of her performances. This skill allowed her to create memorable characters that resonated with audiences, further solidifying her status as a legendary performer. In addition, Merman's contributions to the industry extended beyond her own performances. She was instrumental in advocating for actors' rights and fought for fair compensation and treatment for her fellow performers. Decades after her final curtain call, Ethel Merman's influence can still be felt in the industry. Her unique blend of talent, charisma, and dedication to her craft has left an enduring legacy that continues to inspire and captivate audiences and performers alike. As Lupone so eloquently put it, Merman's spirit lives on in every powerhouse performer who takes the stage today. Ethel Merman, a renowned actress, won a special Tony Award in 1972. In the film There's No Business Like Show Business, she played Molly Donahue. Originally the pastiche was designed to showcase Merman, but the studio executives started to favor Marilyn Monroe, giving her more screen time and taking songs from Merman. By the time they filmed the finale, 
Merman was frustrated with being overshadowed. To compete with Monroe's revealing costumes, Merman requested a large bow on her white sequin gown to give the illusion of a larger bust. In It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, Merman played Mistress Marcus and criticized Milton Berle's character for investing in a seaweed company. Although she didn't realize it at the time, sea vegetables would become a popular part of a healthy diet years later. Merman's career spanned many decades, and she left a lasting impact on the film industry. Ethel Merman, the renowned actress known for her powerful voice and energetic performances, led a life that was just as vibrant offstage. She had a deep love for animals and often took in stray cats and dogs. This passion for animals extended beyond her personal life as she used her platform to support various animal welfare organizations. In fact, she served as the honorary chairman of the North Shore Animal League, one of the largest no-kill shelters in the country. Merman's commitment to giving back didn't stop with animals. She also supported numerous other charitable causes throughout her lifetime. For instance, she was actively involved in raising awareness and funds for medical research related to diabetes, which affected several members of her family. Additionally, she lent her time and talent to benefit concerts and events supporting veterans and military families. The actress's dedication to helping others was deeply rooted in her own experiences growing up during the Great Depression. As a result, she understood the importance of community and generosity firsthand. Her humble beginnings shaped her perspective on life and informed the roles she chose, both on stage and screen. Throughout her career, she consistently selected projects that resonated with audiences and left a lasting impact. One notable example is her performance in Gypsy, where she portrayed Rose, a relentless mother desperate for her daughters to find success in vaudeville. Despite its darker themes, the musical remains a timeless classic due in part to Merman's unforgettable rendition of iconic songs like Everything's Coming Up Roses and Rose's Turn. These numbers display the raw emotion and vulnerability beneath Merman's larger-than-life persona, qualities that made her stand out among her peers. Ultimately, Ethel Merman's life and work serve as testaments to the power of perseverance and compassion. Through her artistry and altruism, she inspired generations of performers while making significant contributions to society. And even today, her legacy continues to captivate audiences around the world. In the 1963 film, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, the actress Ethel Merman delivered a memorable performance as Mistress Marcus. It's said that during a scene, she accidentally hit co-star Milton Berle with her purse, leaving him with a bump that lasted for six months. Moving on to the 1954 film, There's No Business Like Show Business, Merman portrayed Molly Donahue. The song, When the Midnight Choo Choo Leaves for Alabama, was sung by Merman and Dan Daly, a tune that had been previously performed by Judy Garland, and Fred Astaire in Easter Parade. Interestingly, Garland had started filming Annie Get Your Gun as Annie Oakley, a role that Merman had originated on Broadway in 1946. Ethel Merman, born in 1908, was a prominent figure in the world of entertainment. She started her career in the 1930s and quickly became known for her powerful voice and dynamic stage presence. Her biography in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives provides a detailed account of her life and career. From her early days in vaudeville to her successful run on Broadway and in Hollywood, Merman left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Her performances in shows like Gypsy and Annie Get Your Gun are still remembered and celebrated today. Ethel Merman, a name synonymous with strength and power in the world of musical theater, left an indelible mark on the industry. Known for her belted singing voice, and dynamic stage presence, she originated iconic roles in shows like Gypsy and Annie Get Your Gun. Merman's legacy continues to inspire aspiring professionals today. One key piece of advice she would offer is the importance of resilience. The actress faced numerous rejections early in her career, but her determination and grit ultimately led to her success. She once said, you've got to have a darn thick skin to be in show business. Furthermore, Merman believed in the power of hard work 
and preparation. She was known for her meticulous rehearsal process, ensuring that she was always ready to give her best performance. She once stated, I've never missed a performance in my life, and I never will. Merminen's future contributions may not be tangible, but her influence can be seen in the countless performers who have followed in her footsteps. Her unwavering confidence and commitment to her craft continue to inspire aspiring professionals today. For those looking to make their mark in the industry, Merman's advice is simple believe in yourself and never give up. She once said if you've got the talent, keep on working and don't be afraid to take risks. With determination, hard work, and a thick skin, anyone can make their mark in the world of musical theater. As one of the most powerful voices in theater, Ethel Merman left an indelible mark on the world of musicals. With her belt voice and charismatic stage presence, she became synonymous with hits like Gypsy and Annie Get Your Gun. Her performances were unforgettable, bringing laughter and joy to generations of audiences. Reflecting on this classic actress's career, it's hard not to be captivated by her undeniable talent. From her early days in vaudeville to her iconic roles on Broadway, Merman paved the way for future performers while remaining true to herself. Even today, her influence can be seen in every strong female lead who takes center stage. Now, we invite you to share your thoughts on Ethel Merman's work and legacy in the comments below. What does she mean to you? Did you have the chance to see her perform live? We would love to hear your story. If you enjoyed this journey through time, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with friends, and subscribe for more entertaining content, celebrating the creators who shaped our lives. Let's keep these conversations going and cherish the memories they evoke. Together, let's celebrate the lasting impact of artists like Ethel